I'm so lucky to have a twin because I see how both of us have struggled with sort of gender expectations that have that are apart from um, you know one's sexuality. That is just as much of a challenge, if you want to call it a challenge, as, as you know acknowledging or self-identifying that you may like someone of the same sex or whatever you like. My name is Charlie Carver. I self-identify as gay. You know, I have a twin brother, which I feel like is is and was very formative in, in, in my childhood um, because at a certain age I, I started to see how he and I were different and I wasn't able to really put my finger on it because that language wasn't available to me yet but uh, I loved putting on dresses and my mom's makeup and he didn't. Um, I just knew that, 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 that he and I were individuating and around I think I was 11 and a half, about 12 years old, I actually found out why my parents had gotten divorced. Um, my dad had decided to keep that information from my brother and I until he thought we were old enough to really understand it. That's when he came out to us as gay, which was uh, complicated. My dad actually came out to us right before a near fatal plane crash. The whole nine yards, I mean, the oxygen things coming down and the emergency lights and that sound of air going through the engine. <laughs> so it was very, it was very traumatic. Hmm, 20, 24 hours. I felt afraid of his sexuality and knowing that about him, that that somehow would mark me as different. And I think really what it came down to was that was when I started to realize and be able to actually pinpoint why I too had felt different for so long. Right after he came out, I, I struggled for about a year. Um, I wanted to change schools and sort of reinvent myself and, and, and kind of come up with this fake persona and that didn't work out too well. You know, I, I still love sports and all of these sort of masculine tropes that I was trying to put on at that point in time but I, I tried really hard. Like I, I only wore sports jerseys and memorized stats that I didn't give a shit about. And at a certain point I went, you know what, this isn't, this isn't me. So I, throughout high school, I didn't really identify as anything at that point, but I think people knew that, you know, I was checking out guys and girls. And then at 17, I mean, the thing is I had a gay dad, he already knew. There was, it was all in, in like a look and, you know, coded language, but that gave way to just sort of him asking about whether or not, you know, I thought I might like men or women, and we talked about it that way. And my brother, my twin brother, also always knew. I mean, when I told him at 17, he went, well, duh. <laughs> I've been waiting for a while. I mean, at that point, we, we were actually, we were kind of in very different social scenes. He was. He was, he was kind of a bro at that point in time and I was doing my art school thing. So there was just insults always traded back and forth. You know, we were in high school and I remember once it sort of crossed the line into being like, a, not a gay slur, but just something slightly homophobic and I called him on it and that's how the conversation happened. The tricky one was my mom, um, just because as amazing and wonderful as she is because of the the hurt that she experienced through the divorce, I didn't want to re-injure her. That's how I had it in my head. She responded by saying how upset she was that I hadn't told her sooner. Because at that point, she found out that I'd already come out to my brother and my dad, and she went, why, why not me? And I just said, because you're one of the most important women in my life, and i it's scary. But uh, I'm really glad I came out to her, again, 18, freshman, freshman year of college, right after high school. And uh, then I was free, you know? It's been good. And then I, I think the, the step after that is realizing that you are an individual no matter how you identify. But if you can identify as one member of a larger com community, there's sort of a call to contribute and look out for everyone else. This photo, I was 15. I think I was very, very focused and trying very hard to be cool. Back then I guess that meant having bright blue pants and making Fruit Loop necklaces with my girlfriends. But uh, 
I would say to this younger self, it's more about who you are on the inside than the outside. Um, back then, I think I put up different forms of armor, whether that was, you know, being cool or weird, as opposed to just sort of direct and happy and how I felt. So I would just say, yeah, don't worry, it's gonna be okay.